Can we ask Pragna Patel to join us, please? and then you say something. No, I'll say it. Okay. I am truly honored and delighted about the recipient of the next award. She will not like this and she will kill some of us afterwards. But the next recipient of this award is Maria May Hele Lucas. She is the person from whom I have learned everything there is to know about secularism as a feminist issue and about the concept of laicite. She's a stalwart of the movement, a principled woman who thinks and acts internationally and challenges all of us to break out of our parochialism and to not just talk internationally, but to do internationally. She came into my life in her avatar as a founder of women living under Muslim laws. Note, not Muslim women living under laws. I was fighting a case in the 80s and early 90s uh, on in, in relation to a Pakistani woman, Rabia Janjua, who needed asylum in the UK because she had fled zina charges from Pakistan. She had left Pakistan to join her husband in the UK and then was subjected to domestic violence. And we were supporting her, I was supporting her and because she had left her husband, her immigration status had become insecure. It was one of the first cases that had been fought on the basis of gender persecution. And we challenged the immigration asylum laws of the UK to accept and accommodate gender persecution, particularly of women who were at the intersection of both gender and religious persecution. As um, the founder of Women Against Fundamentalism, Maria May Lucas presided over the production of journal journals that documented Muslim women's lives everywhere. And of course, I found it, I found all the evidence I needed about zina charges in Pakistan in those journals to persuade a court to grant Rabia Janjua asylum. So I take to heart Richard Dawkins' comment about evidence being everything. We have to bear witness and document what we see too, because you never know when it's going to come in use. Maria May Lucas is unflinching in her political activism at her age with her Ill, Ill health. To travel here and to be part of this is truly inspirational and I hope that when I'm her age, I will be able to do the same. She's also the founder of Secularism is a Woman's Issue and she long talked about secularism um, and feminism even before we all knew how to articulate it. Today, she spends her time, and I heard this from her today, about translating what is in English into, Fran into French, because there are many French-speaking people who are excluded from these conversations because English is the international language. And that is what I mean about her internationalism. It is really, truly inspiring. She's courageous, she is tireless, and she is beautiful. Please come up and accept this award, Maria May Lucas.
Can I just say one thing? This woman right here, in addition to everything that Pragna said, she is our heart. Well, my friends know that I'm very shy and I like to be in the shadow and work in the shadow. So they told me at the very last minute, <laughs> otherwise I would have gone back to the hotel, I guess. So. Anyway, some years ago, when I met these women here, I thought, these are the women, the women I want to work with till I die. And I think that's what I'm going to do because I'm very old. <laughs> Thank you.